Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John and this is Timberborn. Yep, we've just started our uh, latest drought. 18 days. It's going to be touch and go. We're not going to keep this water in here for 18 days, even though we're not pumping any of it. Uh, this reservoir is likely to dry out just through uh, evaporation. Uh, we are drawing out of this little reservoir down here. Um, this is deeper, so we, we have access to more water here. Um, we've got our sunken water pump that we can open up once these three run dry. Because uh, these only have a depth of two, I believe. Yeah, maximum depth of two. Uh, but, as someone very helpfully reminded me, I had no idea, uh, in the comments, uh, down here, uh, there, are, there is a large water pump. Uh, we need treated planks for it. Uh, it goes down to a depth of four. Um, but it uh, employs three beavers and take uh, draws in much more water. I could, probably could have explained that better. It's bigger. It draws more water. And it takes three beavers. There you go. Dear, oh dear. Um, so yes, that's something we want to, to work towards. To get all these taken out uh, and replaced with a couple of... Uh, larger ones, and we'll do the same down here as well. Um, up here we've got our um, bad water pump. We've got a bit of bad water stored. What have we got? 140 bad water. That's okay. Uh, but we want to move towards... Explosives. That's what the aim, here, uh, aim is here. Um, how much power are we getting off of this at the moment? Yeah, not quite enough. That's fine. Um, how are we doing for everything there? We need lots more gears. Um, but we have two gear workshops uh, running. Um, planks we're okay for. Um, we do have both of these lumber mills running. Um, we've got our grist mill there for cattails. We've got our paper mill there for, you know, paper. Hmm... Is it worth... Yes. Yes, it is. It's worth putting in another large windmill up there. Yeah, definitely. And um, we can actually start replacing these ones as well, can't we? That's not a terrible idea. Um, probably won't start at this end. Unless... If we take that one out, I mean, it will kill all power to our industrial area. But take that out and replace it with a large one. Then we'll be able to put a ramp in over there. Because I think we have actually, we can actually do that. Let's have a look. Yeah. We can actually build right next to the um, large windmills. So that would be a way to do that. So get that removed. Uh, and replaced with a large one. But we'll wait until we've got the water back so we've got a bit of power um, coming through this section here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How are we doing? Um, we should be alright. We should be alright. Food-wise, 2.8 thousand. Um, we've got bread now. Um, cattail crackers. We've got roasted chestnuts. Uh, loads of potatoes. A fair amount of spatterdock. A little bit of sunflower, because we've got a little patch of sunflower seeds over here as well. Um, yeah, I think we're doing fine. We've got plenty of food stored that we can cook. Well, not plenty. We've got some food stored that we can cook. Um, plenty of cattail flour and cattails. Uh, plenty of wheat, a little bit of wheat flour. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine. So the thing that's going to affect us is water, really. Um... Nearly two and a half thousand stored. Yeah, we'll be fine. Right, I'll spin on for a couple of days. We'll see how we're doing. Fourteen days left, so we've had four days of drought. The water level in here is visibly decreasing, as you can see. Uh, we're starting to lose uh, some of these crops back here. Uh, over here, we've now got this water pump exposed so we've gone down nearly a, a well, three quarters of a tile basically in four days 
Uh, we've lost fertilization to some of these trees back here. Uh, so these will die, unfortunately. There's not a lot we can do about that. Um, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, Water-wise, we're still at 2,227 water. So that's fine. We're okay there. Um, we have five beds left. We have one workplace uh, to fill. That will be in our hauler's lodge, wherever that is. There it is. Yeah. So we've got no um, unemployed beavers. We've had a few uh, a few deaths of old age. Um, we do have 11 children, so we'll, we'll get workers back pretty quick. Uh, up here, as you can see, I have replaced this. We've had no wind for a while, so I figured might as well replace it now. So we've got ourselves a large uh, windmill in there, and I've got us a, a little bridge so we can get past. And we can demolish this one. And we can replace it with another one. A large one. Oh, we've got some wind coming in now. Uh, we're producing 1,300 power. We need 630 for this lot. I think we're good for a, a little while. Obviously, that is only intermittent, and we will want batteries eventually to store some of this um, power. Yeah, uh, and probably up here is a, a good place to start. Um, get some dynamite in to dig a trench in front of maybe this rise here, and stick a couple of gravi uh, gravity batteries up on there, dropping down into that trench. Probably the best place to do it, I think. Uh, we've got another bit up here, but it's right by this uh, bad water. Uh, the other place would be up here. Well, we've already got quite a significant drop down there. But that's a long way to spread power, so that seems pretty perfect to me. Okay, in terms of everything else, um, obviously we're going through uh, the gears at a bit of a rate at the moment because we're making these, and these take uh, 20 gears each. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, we're doing okay. Um... Slowly building up our uh, science, we need... Where are we? Uh, 400 for the explosives factory itself, which we have. Uh, but then we need an additional 600 at least for the dynamite. So, yeah, we're still, we're still you know, 400 science off what we need. Um, it's not worth putting any, in any more science at the moment because we don't have the beavers to cover it. Obviously, we could take one out of the hauler's lodge, but not a lot of point at the moment we'll just allow it to build up we're not in any hurry we don't really want to get things moving until we've got our power up here sorted out uh, and that's going to take a little while so yeah we're okay for the moment i'm um, thinking about where to put the uh explosives factory i mean we could just stick it on the end here because we're we're just spreading power along through these buildings um or i could bring it around this side um Where's the doorway? Okay, so I'd need to put in a couple of platforms there. So it's probably easier just to put it in there, isn't it, really? No reason why we shouldn't. Okay, that's that sorted, or will be. Uh, how are we doing with that? We are bringing things. Good, good, good. Uh, we have plenty of everything except for the gears, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, and obviously our gear factories are constantly producing. Yeah. I mean, I could just take this off and add it to this, couldn't I? This this lumber mill down here that's being manually uh, powered. I could just bring that up here as well, couldn't I? Hmm. No, not at the moment. Not, not until we've got batteries, because we ought to be still producing planks when we've got no uh, no power. Okay. Right. I'm not going to do anything more at the moment than basically let it play through. Um, I'll come back again in, in a few days uh, and we'll see where we are in terms of our uh, power and things like that. Right. Nine days left of the drought. So about halfway through. We've still got a little bit of water in here. Not a lot, but a little bit. That is definitely going to dry out in the next couple of days. Um, down here, it looks like these are just about to run out of water that it can, uh, that they can draw from here. So we're going to have to turn 
this one on. Oops. Um, yeah, we are going to lose these trees. There's nothing we can do about that, really. Uh, we still have one, uh, 1 1.8 thousand water, so we're okay. In theory, we're okay. Um, up here, we've replaced uh, these three windmills. So I'm going to come up and take out this one next. Oops. And pop in a large one. There we go. Um, so we are still producing 800 horsepower just with these five here. So that's... Oh, and it's increasing because the wind's just picked up a little bit. There we go. More than enough to run all of this. Excellent stuff. Right. Um, I've put in... Oops. A bit more storage around here for bread, which is already full. So we're doing absolutely fine for food. Um... And what I could do, because we can get access from both sides here, let's take out that and pop in uh, a small warehouse uh, and we will store, where are we, bread in there as well. And we'll reconnect those paths, there we go. Okay, uh, in terms of science, we are up to uh, 850 points, so we're nearly there. It's just a case now of whether we're going to get through the rest of this drought without any major problems. Um, yeah, possibly. Water is going to be the issue, whether we can actually supply our um, colony for the rest of the drought with what we've got. Food-wise, we, we're okay for, so we don't mind losing fertilization on these fields. Okay. Let's let's get this water out of here and into storage. Okay, and I'll spin on. Okay, five days left of the drought. We are out of water in this reservoir. We have 1.4, uh, yeah, 1450 water in storage. Uh, down here, I have put in a second water pump um, to drain out this. Uh, we've lost more fertilization here, but we should be okay. We should get water back in here uh, before these trees die as well. Um, same goes for these um, blueberry bushes here. We should get water back before they die. Uh, these trees we should be okay for as well, in theory. Yeah. But we've got no food coming in at the moment. But that's fine. We have 3,500 food in stock. Plus what's still being cooked. So that's all fine. Uh, up here we have a little bit of wind coming in. Uh, not quite enough to supply everything. Um, are you coming to collect these logs? So I don't want to lose them. Oh, it's fine. Go on. You can probably get around the back to get them if you really need to. Right, let's get that last one in. That should really push up our power. We've got... 740 sitting on these four being wasted. So, yeah, that this is going to produce more than enough than we need, even when it's barely blowing. Uh, at the moment, each of these are producing 185, and it's almost producing enough with just those three. So, yeah, that is going to provide us with plenty of power for the most part. Other than that, it's just going to be a case of struggling on. How are we doing for housing? We've only got one housing spot. Uh, 15 free beavers, but we've got a fair few um, workspaces that are just closed at the moment because, you know, we can't do anything with them. Um, yeah, all I can really do is spin on. Um, no, what I can do, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you what I can do. I can unlock the explosives factory. Um, we pretty much have the parts for it. We, we will do once we get a few more gears in um we've got the metal for it we've got the planks for it yep let's pop that in and we'll put it in right there there you go okay right um yeah all i can do is spin on so i'll spin on there we go the end of the drought and the beginning of the probably brief wet season Yeah. 
we emptied out pretty much. We've still got 850 water in uh, stock. So that's not too bad. Um, Food-wise, we've still got over 3,000. So, yeah, no worries there at all. Hmm. But we have our explosives factory in. It is producing explosives. I've put in some storage up here for explosives. Uh, we've replaced all of our small windmills with large ones. Uh, and even operating at just 156 horsepower each, we're getting nearly twice what we need uh, to supply our industrial area. So that's okay. Right, uh, where's the water? Come on, water, we need you back pretty quickly, please. Yeah. Okay then, right, so first thing we can do is unlock uh, dynamite. Uh, and I want to put that... Let me think about this. Um... Okay. I think that's what I want to do. Yes, uh, I'm going to demolish this lumberjack flag. I'm going to bring a path up. Now I've done this wrong. Hang on, hang on, let me think about this. Let me think about this. Okay. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. I think. Maybe. Um, but, well, we'll see. We don't have enough explosives for it at the moment anyway, so we'll, we'll lay that in and, and see how it goes. Uh, how's the water doing? The water is just about to come back. That's good. There we go. Let's, let's bring some of these trees back to life, shall we? There we go. We've got a few that died, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, they can all be replanted. All the crops are now going to be replanted. Excellent stuff. Okay. So that's the first thing we want to do with the explosives. The next thing we're going to want to do with the explosives is start deepening this section here. Um, to that end, I am going to demolish these four water pumps. Like so. I will turn these on. So we can start replenishing our supplies. Uh, I will drop the uh, floodgates there. I will turn these on as well. Uh, but I'll pause these two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll spin until all these explosives are laid in then. Okay, day three has just arrived and we've just had the bad tide warning. So that that's a, that's a short wet season. Hopefully it'll be a short bad tide, but we will see. Um, we're not quite at a thousand water. Um, we have, well, seven um, water pumps working on that. Um, our explosives, I've changed the design of the explosives again. I don't know if I'm happy with it, but it's what I'm going with. Uh, so we're just waiting for those to get laid in. Um, the next thing we want is, I think, 500 science points. Yeah, 500 science points to unlock the Tapper's Shack. So, what I'm going to do... What am I going to do? And more importantly, where am I going to do it? Uh, over here, I think. We can take out this lumberjack. Uh, and I'm going to put in another... Yeah, another couple of inventor's shacks over here. Just to sort of boost our science a little bit more. I'm not going to bother with the number cruncher because it just... Uh, 200 power. Mm, maybe. Yeah, it's the observatory rather than... The, the, num the number cruncher isn't worth it. The observatory kind of is. So maybe I will look to unlock that. Hmm... Yeah, that, that, that one is worth it. The observatory is worth it. I think the number cruncher takes like 500 power and, and doesn't output as much science. I can't remember. I know I'm against it for some reason. Um, 
But yeah, the observatory is worth putting in, so maybe we'll think about that. What does it require? Uh, pine resin, which we don't have yet, uh, but we will do once we get 500 science points. So, uh, I will prepare for that, in fact. Um, I'll put in now. Pretty sure it's these that store resin. It is indeed. Okay, so let's get ourselves... Where are we? Storage. Small warehouses. Let's get ourselves three in there. And you're all going to be storing pine resin. Okay, that will do for the moment. Uh, and then we'll, when we put in the uh, wood workshop, which will go up here somewhere, um, probably on the end here, uh, we'll put in some more storage, maybe along this bit. Uh, for additional uh, resin. And then we'll put in some storage somewhere for treated planks. Somewhere. We'll find space. Hopefully close enough to the wood workshop to make it worthwhile. Okay, what are we on? 493. Let me spin on for a little while. Okay, there we go. I spun on for a very little while. And we've got our 500 science points for the tapper's shack. Uh, 20 logs, we just about have them. 20 planks, yeah, plenty. Uh, 10 gears, yes, we have them. Okay, so let's unlock that. We'll put that in. Yeah, just there. There we go. Excellent stuff. Right, I'll spin on until either these explosives are laid in, or the bad tide arrives, whichever happens first. Right, one day left before the, uh, bad tide arrives and we have our explosives set in so guess what we're going to do with these there we go that's what we want lovely stuff now what i'm going to put in first of all is a fluid dump and we'll pop that in just there now the idea i had for this was to unlock the lido and pop a lido in there I can also put one in there, but I don't know if I will. I'm going to put shower units down the side here. Um, and I was going to use that as a little sort of area for a couple of benches, maybe a, a statue or something like that. But I don't know whether I should do two Lidos or uh, decoration and a Lido. But anyway, this area here should give us a little bit of protection against um, this draining during the drought. In theory. Uh, I have put in another um, water pump up here. Because I realised I'd taken out these slightly early. But it's okay. We're, we're up to uh, 1183 water in storage. And hopefully the bad tide won't last too long. Mm, we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, still waiting for... Um, our science to build up. We need what do we need? 800 for the wood workshop. Uh, we have our two additional uh, inventors huts in over here. So that's that's helping us out. That's that's pushing that up reasonably quickly. Um, we're producing what five an hour basically. So we're getting a decent amount per day. Right. I'll spin on until the morning, and we'll see what happens with the dreaded bad tide. There we go. Bad tide, nine days. We should be okay. In theory, we should be okay. Oops. A little bit of flooding, just as that settles, that'll be fine. Yeah, nine days, That that's okay. We should be okay with that. Uh, I've just put in um, another new uh, house down here. We're just waiting for the um, platform to be built. Uh, this has started filling with water, so it started to hydrate all of this. Uh, I'm not going to unlock the um, uh, the Lido just yet, but uh, I will put a couple of showers in just down here, just to start with. Uh, okay, we got our um, Tapper's Shack is in. It is collecting both maple syrup and pine resin. We should probably have some storage for maple syrup, shouldn't we? Um... I assume that requires, yeah, 
that requires a tank. So let's put in a... Uh, for the moment, we'll put in a small tank right next to it. Uh, and we'll have to figure out something to do with maple syrup. Is it maple pastries in the bakery, maybe? Yeah, what do you need? Logs? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep you making bread for the moment. That's okay. Right. Uh, we have successfully blocked the uh, the bad water, so that's good. Um, we are getting currently 2,750 horsepower, which is nice. But we are still some way away from um, the number of science points we need to unlock the wood workshop. So, what I will do is I will spin on through the bad tide. Hopefully we'll be okay, as I say. Nine days, I mean, this is likely to get drained in nine days. Um, we're already down to uh, almost the point where we can turn on these two water pumps here. So, yeah, we, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. I mean, we've got plenty of food. We should be fine. Four days left of the uh, bad tide then. Uh, so just over halfway. We've still got a little bit of water in, but that isn't going to last. I mean, looking at it, it's probably not going to last the day. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me if this vanishes as I speak. Um, over here, we've got yeah, a bit more. So we're still able to uh, to draw water out of here okay. Uh, we're up to 2.1 thousand water, so we're doing better than we were at the start of the bad tide, at least. Uh, this has filled up. I've paused the uh, uh, fluid dump for the moment, um, but that is nice and full. Uh, we're up to 700 science points, so we're nearly at the point where uh, we can unlock the wood workshop. Uh, this is helping all of this, or most of this, as you can see, uh, stay fertile. Uh, they will die in 12 days, but we've only got four days left of the bad tide, so that should be fine. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, we are filling up with maple syrup uh, and pine resin. So that's good. Um, I think, in fact, I will pop in another storage tank for maple syrup. Is it worth putting in another baker? I mean, it probably is worth putting in another baker, isn't it? Yeah, let's put in another baker. Let's put in a platform there. Uh, and we'll pop in a bakery just there. And you can make us some maple pastries. Yeah, why not? Why not? Add some more food to the menu. Okay, yeah, look, there you go. That water has just vanished now, look. Expected. Not, not something to worry about. Four days, I mean, these crops are likely going to die. Yeah, the, these crops will probably die. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, we've still even got a little bit of water in this section here. So, yeah, all our trees are going to be fine. Um, I did remember to uh, go in here and uh, select all of the trees that had died and mark those for cutting and then turn those cutting orders back off again so that our chestnut trees can regrow. I did completely forget about that. Okay then, right, how are we doing for everything else? Uh, Dynamite 35, okay. It's building up slowly. Uh, pine resin we've got a fair amount, planks we've got a fair amount, gears we're okay for, yeah we're good for everything really. That's alright, excellent stuff. Um, plenty of food stuffs to be prepared. Uh, and plenty of food stuffs that have been prepared. So that's all good. Uh, wood we are a little bit low on because a lot of our trees weren't growing as they are now, during the last sort of, what, eight, nine days of the um, previous drought. So, yeah, our wood stores are a little bit low at the moment. Uh, I don't want to cut these down, though, for obvious reasons. Um, probably worth putting in some more tree planting somewhere, isn't it? Don't have a lot of space for it. Um, no. No, not really. I mean, I could clear out some of these berry bushes that we don't need and stick in some more 
trees around here, I suppose, or use this section here, but obviously this all dies during the the longer droughts. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to have to clear myself some space and set up some uh, irrigation, aren't I? That sounds like an idea. Okay. But for the moment, oh, 790 science points. Let's spin on until we've got um, 800. It's literally going to be a few moments. There we go. 800. Just before uh, the close for the day. Right. Um, what are we looking for? There we go. Wood workshop. 800 science points. And it's going to sit right there. Perfect spot for it. Now what do we need for that? Logs, planks and gears, of which we have everything we need, except the logs, really. I mean, we do have them, but not not really spare. Um, I've closed down this um, lumber workshop over here for the moment. Yeah, okay, I'll spin on to the end of the bad tide then. There we go. That is the end of the bad tide and the clean water is returning, which is lovely to see. Uh, okay, I'll wait till that all clears out and then I'll um, open up these floodgates, close those ones, do the usual thing. Okay, over here then. Let's have a look. The Lido, 250 points. We have 300. Let's get that unlocked. It's planks and logs. That's easy enough. Let's... Hmm. I'm going to put it in that side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put it in, in that side. I'm not going to put one in there just yet. I might leave that free for, say, a couple of benches and a couple of uh, other decorations, maybe. Um, what I'll want to do is get a decoration in here that has a decent range. So a beaver statue, maybe. Um, yeah, and have a beaver statue either side so that we've got um, this covered. Uh, and then a couple more shower units down either side. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay. Okay, how are we doing for everything else? We've got three housing spaces left, ten uh, unemployed beavers. That's fine. How are we doing for treated planks? We have ten. Okay, and we need 400 science points and ten treated planks. That's fine. So by the time the science has risen up to there... We'll be able to put in some of these deep water um, uh, pumps. So, first thing I want to do is get some stairs down here. Because we are going to want to start deepening this. Um, I'll start with... In fact, we don't even need the stairs there to start with. Because what I'm going to do is just lay in explosives across there. Now, I think I should be able to drop down... Um, yeah, about there, so maybe three levels, we'll, we'll see, maybe three levels I'll be able to drop down there. So we'll, we'll, we'll dig out this trench first and then we'll hopefully be able to put in, um, our, um, deep water pumps. Uh, okay, the water has definitely cleared here. Now let's close you up and open you up. Come on, close you up. There we go. And we'll get some water back in here. And things can start, hopefully, growing again. Right, I'll spin until these, these explosives are laid in then. Stage one ready. Stage two ready. Stage three ready. Okay, there we go. Day four of uh, this cycle. We still haven't had a drought or bad tide warning, so that's okay. Uh, as you can see, if I get rid of the water, uh, I'm laying in some explosives. We've reached the bottom here, so we can go down three levels, I was right. Um, so I've laid in a bit of explosives up here to start bringing this section down. 
Um, we don't quite have enough science, but we probably will by the end of the day um, to unlock the um, uh, the deep water pump, wherever it is. The large water pump, sorry. Um, I may need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to uh, get rid of one line of these sunflowers. So let's do that. Like so, we will get rid of those as well. Uh, and then we'll bring the path back one. And we'll stick a couple of these on here. Um, don't think we've got the explosives for it. Uh, we have 13 explosives left. Minus whatever's being brought down. So yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough um, to get this laid in at the moment. But what I will do is, if we can turn the water back on, there we go. We're back up to 2,000 water in storage, so that's okay. Um, over here we have our Lido in, and it is being used by, who are you? Dorlagax. Are you enjoying it, Dorlagax? You look like you're enjoying it. Good, back to work. Right, that's that. We are building up um, a few maple pastries, but not many because they get eaten pretty quickly because it looks like they're the best food we have, basically. Um, our well-being has skyrocketed to 21. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. For the moment. Right, what I'll do is I'll spin on. Um, we'll see if we get the uh, bad tide or drought warning in the morning. Um, if not, I'll just spin on until the start of whatever it's going to be. Day 5, we didn't get a drought or bad tide warning, so that's nice. Now, let's get ourselves in a large water pump, shall we? In fact... You know what? Let's splash out and get two. Um... Hmm... Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add... A strip there. Can we reach that? Yes, we can. Okay. So I'm going to add a strip there. I'm going to um, have this one empty out and we'll we'll close that one down. Um, and I'll put a couple of platforms in there once we've dropped the, the height. And we'll stick a third one on there. Should we need it? We probably won't. Probably won't. Maybe won't. But we'll see. Um, okay. Everything else is proceeding. Oh, we need to turn you back on. Uh, we have no housing spaces, but we have a fair few unemployed beavers about the place. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like another explosives factory wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe. How are we doing for power? Yeah, well over double what we need. We've definitely got the power to fit in a, uh, another explosives factory. Yeah, let's put in another explosives factory. Why not? Go on then, if you insist. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Okay, right. I will spin on one more time. I know this episode is going on a little bit longer than normal, but I want to get as much done as possible. So, yeah, I'm going to spin on until we've got these explosives laid in. That will probably be at least at the start of the uh, uh, drought or bad tide. Water pumps are in. We're up to 3,000 water. I've put in some additional water storage over here. The drought arrives in the morning. But as you can see, we've got our explosives laid in. So I want to get these set off now. That will give us a tiny bit more water storage for the drought. So let's do that. There we go. A little bit more uh, water um, stored for us. As I say, we've got 3,000, so we should be... All right. Uh, the drought does arrive in the morning, but we will face that next episode because we're going to leave it there. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for all the people who do comment and, and who pointed out that these things actually exist, which 
had completely slipped my notice or slipped my memory, one of the two. Either is possible. Um, yeah, completely completely forgotten that these were in the game. Um, so yeah, now, now that we've got those in, that should help our water supplies a little bit more. Yeah. But we've done alright. We've got explosives in. We've got um, treated planks in. So we're collecting maple syrup. We've got maple pastries being produced. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing alright. We're doing all right. This hard mode stuff, piece of cake. And with that, please do give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more. Please check out the other videos on my channel. And please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe and bye-bye.